Yikes. Yeah. Uh, Lou, how do they do this? Yeah, you know what you what you do is you just control the controllables. You've gone wrong, and it really wasn't a fault of his or a fault of Drew's or a fault of Cam Jordan's or Marshawn Lattimore or Michael Thomas. You know, we're, we're not lacking anything as far as what we can do on the field. Overlooking the opponent, though, I feel like they've been in this situation every year where maybe they're thinking too far down the line. I was in the locker room all three years. I saw them returning to the New Orleans Saints once he gets that contract done, with hopefully this will all work out. But Taysom Hill, we know Sean Payton thinks that he could be a starter and he's a great quarterback. But what does this mean for Taysom now that Drew Brees returns here to this offense? A great spot for him. How often you talk about yeah. fit is what matters for players. Mm -hmm. It's not just yeah. what you can do. It's where you fit. Personally, I would embrace that. But I understand why. Because of what he's been doing for his whole life. And because of the fact that it's the best position in sports to try to be a, become a franchise quarterback. Yeah, I mean, he really has no other choice. He doesn't that he has there in New Orleans being, a, being behind a future Hall of Famer as far as a quarterback is concerned and really being too. <laughs> okay, but... It wasn't. And so, what's I mean, he playing, like, 20 snaps a game? Yeah. Like he's he our starting quarterback. Yeah. The guy's throwing, like, 30 passes in the NFL. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, think, look, I, think, like... I think all athletes across all sports, Try. what I want to control, which is when I play, who I play for, and how much money I get, and it's just like, uh, hold on, yep. hold on. Football's a little different. Mm -hmm. You're a little bit more restricted here. Mm -hmm. So I'm not I'm not mad at the guy for wanting to be a starter. He should We saw Drew Brees go down with injury. It wasn't Taysom Hill That's who started right. quarterback. Correct. It was Teddy right. Bridgewater. Yeah. So uh, Sean Payton may be saying it, you know, action is more important. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, so Schefter's going to join the show coming up after the break. He talked to Taysom Hill on his podcast. Actually, right now they're doing it. So we'll, we'll check in with him to find out what Taysom had to say about Drew Brees returning and perhaps what, what he hopes difference. Uh, guys, we'll get back to you in just a few to go through uh, Mel's rest of his draft board there. But, Lou, something Todd just said there, uh, perhaps Tua over Burrow, if he turns out to be healthy. What's your reaction when Todd's talking about that? Yeah, if he turns out to be healthy. Well, look, at some point, Tua is going to be healthy. So I don't... Not gonna is play that the for leverage you guys. he I mean, needs? That's I mean, what he means by leverage. I mean, that, that I mean, really, what other leverage does what he have? I mean, the only yeah, the leverage exactly. he has is to withhold his services and say, I'm not going to play for you. Yeah. But, I mean, as many people have referenced, that's just not really, doesn't sound like what, you know, the, the makeup of the kid doesn't sound like a place for me. It is a tremendous honor to go number one overall, but is that the best place for me? That remains to be seen. Yeah, I mean, I think when you look at Joe Burrow and you look at what he's... Reports out there that perhaps there would be a trade there involving Stafford and Detroit, and that contract is just really tough to trade in 2020. The team could end up with a $32 million dead cap hit. So, back here, guys. Man, Todd's really doubling down on this Tua, mm -hmm. if he was healthy, situation, <laughs> that he would go number one. He, he's I can see where he says sticking that, his name all over Makes that. Sense. So, you're Detroit. Lou, I want to start with you. You're the one with the most experience here in the front office. Would you be willing to go after Tua here, knowing that you have Matthew Stafford here coming off an injury? Yeah, I, I think Matthew Stafford, after 2020, in the 2021 season, the cap hit is much more palatable. We can move on from Matthew. Well, look, I mean, that's... Longer just do absolutely stick? ride that thing how out and just do, take somebody to win. How much you. longer do you, do you think they stick with Matthew Stafford after all these years of not getting there? And, and, it's you know, all the when the owner has already said, okay, now we're good. Gotcha. Yeah, you started this off by sense. noting how sometimes coaches and GMs, as much as they want to think, Oh, that's what Brett Except in this case, they're do. tied together, and they're both going to be out right. of there. So in this case, <laughs> yeah. you don't have that luxury of playing yeah. five years in advance. It is about 2020, 2020, and 2020 some more. And yeah. 2020, Drew Brees is returning to mm -hmm. the New Orleans Saints. If they